What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Rally Armor mud flaps, specifically the universal fit ones that don't come with the brackets. But other than that, I'm going to do a little vlog today, so hope you guys enjoy that. I still need to drink my coffee real quick, I already, I already brewed it up over here, and uh, I'm cooling it off with some ice. But other than that, after I drink my coffee, I'm about to head over to my mom's house for a little bit, and then, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys over there. It's probably been four or five hours since I last recorded, so I'm not really too sure how long this video is going to be, but there's a guy down the street mowing the lawn, so hopefully the audio isn't too bad right now. I've been getting a few comments asking how I install my mud flaps, so I'm basically just going to go over that real quick, and then I'll probably just close out the video after that. I don't know, we might do something else. I'm not... So when you're installing these mud flaps, the first thing you need to do is mark a spot on your fender liner and drill a hole out. And then basically you just want to line your mud flap up. You want to get a marker behind your fender liner and mark it onto the mud flap so you can drill the hole out. And then after you do that, you, you want to have at least two screws or bolts that are holding this on. So once you get it marked, you can drill it out. I got a quarter inch bolt and uh, also a quarter inch nut on the other side and I got two washers. So I could put it in between here and my fender liner. And on the other side of my fender liner is, a, is the nut that goes onto this bolt. And I basically just put two of those on there. And the front was easy because all you have to do is turn your wheel. And it's really simple. You just turn your wheel in like that so it can get into here and get some access into there. The rear ones though, you're going to have to take your tire off so you can get in there and drill everything out. So that's literally how simple it is. You just mark your holes and drill and then put your bolts in. and. It's really cheap. These mud flaps are like $25, and then the hardware is probably like three or four dollars for eight eight bolts and 16 washers and everything you need. So that's pretty simple. That's basically how you install the mud flaps, and I think they look pretty dope. Something else you should also do when you're installing these mud flaps is take the mud flaps, stack them on top of each other, and drill the same holes out so they're even on both sides, and then try to get them as close as you can on both sides, like away from the ground so it doesn't look really stupid when you have them on. That's another thing you can do to make it look better and it's really easy. That's literally how simple it is to install those mud flaps. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. But for now, I think we're gonna go to Nebraska Furniture Mart and it's really dark in here, wow. For now, I think we're gonna go to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, I'm gonna look at some lenses and see if they have drones and stuff there. So let's do that now. We just got back from Nebraska Furniture Mart, and I don't even know. I didn't really record too much in there. I was looking at getting a drone, but I decided not to because the lady was talking to me about all the features and stuff, and I don't know. I think I'm going to get a Phantom 4 in the future just need to save up a little bit more. But other than that, I'm just going to edit this video and get done with it and upload it so you guys can see it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, comment what you thought and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.